So let's take a look at some of the things you're seeing on the screen. I just want to make sure that you know what everything is, where it is, so that we'll be able to use it moving forward. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and I'm just going to give you some terms. So the first thing that we see up there, you'll notice in the very upper left-hand corner on the title bar, it says Auto Save, and then you have the Save icon, and there's little arrows that are grayed out, the Undo and the Redo. So we'll talk more about those later, but that's what we call the Quick Access Toolbar. Underneath that, you'll see the ribbon. That's all the tabs that we have, starting with File and Home. And we'll talk more about that later and some of the commands that you have. So if you move your mouse on down, you'll see the name box where it says A1. And then move your mouse to the right, and you will see the formula bar. That's the big white bar all the way across. So we're going to be using that quite a bit, but we call that the formula bar. And you'll see the tag right there as you hold your mouse. Of course, we have a scroll bar on the far right of your screen and across the bottom, so you're used to using your scroll bars. If you look down below where your mouse is right now in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you have a couple buttons and, of course, your zoom where it has the 100%. So that's going to allow you to zoom in to see things larger. You won't see as much, and then you can zoom back out to see less. If you move your mouse on down there to the left a little bit, you'll see three pictures. Those are actually Excel views. If you hold your mouse over the one that looks like it's pressed in, what does that one say? Normal. Exactly. So we like to be normal. We're going to stay normal for a while. <laughs> the other two are really only for printing. So when we get to the modules on printing, mm -hmm. then we'll look at those. But otherwise, we want to stay in normal mode. Okay. So now if you move your mouse all the way down to the left, you'll see where it says Sheet 1. Now, in Excel, you could have a number of sheets. Think of an old ledger book where you would just turn the page to get a whole new section. That's mm -hmm. what this is designed for. So we're on sheet one. You can actually have a total of 256 sheets in wow. one Excel file. OK, wow. Um, I have a question. What's this plus sign? Mm -hmm. Why don't we go ahead and click it and see what happens? I got another sheet. <laughs> exactly. So if you want to add a new sheet, it's as easy as that. Just keep clicking that plus sign. We'll look at some other ways to manage your sheets in another module. But for now, let's go back and click on sheet one. Let's also talk about the cells, because that's the majority of what you see in Excel. Mm -hmm. So if you look across the top, how are the columns labeled? A, B, C, D. Right. That's going to go all the way out to Z. And then once it gets to Z, it's going to start with double letters, double A, double B. And then it's going to do combinations. If you were to keep going all the way out to the right and count those up, don't do it, but it would be 16,384 columns. Really? That's a lot. You want to guess how many rows? Um, I'm going to let you figure that one out. <laughs> it's a lot. You'll never okay. guess it. It's actually 1,048,576 wow. rows of data, and that's per sheet. Oh, so wow. when you go to sheet two, you have the same number of rows and columns again. Mm -hmm. You probably won't use all of those on most of your spreadsheets, but it is available to you in this file. So when we want to refer to a specific cell, we use first the column heading and then the row. So for example, you're in cell A1 right now. And then you could just click in any other cell. As a matter of fact, just pick any cell. Take your mouse and click in it. How would we refer to the cell that you're in right now? C3. Exactly. And I also see it up here in the name box. Oh, you remembered what yeah. it was called. <laughs> Excellent. That's exactly right. Uh, that's one of the ways that we know what cell we're in is through the name box. And we'll be using the name box for some other things in other modules as well. Let's talk about what Excel calls the backstage view. That sounds more interesting than it really is, but let's <laughs> take a look at it. Go up and click on the word file on the ribbon. Good. And you will see a list of commands on the side, a lot of common things, home, new, open, info, save, things that we're going to do on a regular basis. This is divided into three sections. The middle section has a list of commands, and then there's additional information often in the far right section. We're going to be coming back here and really using these as we need them. So we're not going to go through each of the individual items right now. But as we need it, we'll be coming back and, of course, doing things such as saving and printing and exporting and all sorts of great things. Okay. So you'll notice that you can't see your spreadsheet right now. So we need to get out of here. There's a couple ways to get out. Any ideas how we can go back to the spreadsheet? Um. Let's back arrow. That would absolutely do it. And I'm also going to introduce you to one of my favorite keys in Excel, which on the keyboard is the Escape key. It's the one in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard. So if you hit Escape, that'll also take you out. So you can get there either way. Okay. One of the other key things that you really need to know is how to move around in Excel. 
because we spend a lot of time just moving from cell to cell and then selecting cells. So we have options with the mouse and we have options with the keyboard. So we're going to take a few minutes and look at those. So first of all, let's talk about the mouse. You've already noticed that you can just click in a cell to select it. Mm -hmm. So you can just go ahead and click there. Excellent. Let's talk about some keyboard ways to move around. So on the keyboard, if you wanted to go down a row, you can use the Enter key. Why don't you try that? So you'll notice that as you hit Enter, that takes you down. Mm -hmm. Another key that we often use is the Tab key. Now, if you hit Tab, where does that take you? To the right. Exactly. So when you're typing, you have your hands on the keyboard, you're probably going to want to move around that way. Mm -hmm. You can also use the shift key to reverse those directions. So for example, if I did shift and enter. And you go upwards. Exactly. And then if I do shift tab, what's going to happen? You're going to go to the left. Exactly. So you can just use that shift key to reverse it. Okay. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can use them to just go down one cell at a time, up one cell at a time, and then of course left and right. So that's what we're going to use when we just need to go a few cells here and there. If you want to move a few more cells at a time, often we'll use the page up and page down keys. Now, when you think of a page, it's not a printed page. Mm -hmm. This is just a screen. So you'll notice that when we do the page down key, that's going to take us to the next really set of rows okay. there. So you'll notice this one picks up at 23 down to 44, and I can page down again. Mm -hmm. And then we can page up to go the other direction. Now, in Excel, you'll often have data that's not just vertical, but you'll have a lot of data out to the right. You remember there's a lot of columns that we can use. Mm -hmm. So if I want to go a screen to the right, I'm just going to hold down my Alt key and do the page down. And notice where it takes us on the screen. It takes you to the whole next set of cells to the right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if I did Alt page down again, you'll notice how we just keep going out to the right. And mm -hmm. then, of course, I could do Alt page up to go back the other direction. Mm -hmm. Or, let me show you a couple other of my favorite keys to move around. These you really need to know in Excel. So let's say that I had a lot of data out here to the right. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to use that trick, that Alt page down, and right now I'm on S10. Let's say that I needed to go back to my data. Mm -hmm. We already know we're not going to scroll. Nobody's got time for that. So I want to show you a couple of tips that we use. Both involve the Home key. Okay. So the first one, and again, notice that we're on S10. I'm going to just hit Home by itself. And where does that take us? It takes you back to A10. Exactly. So same row that we were on, but column A, always. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back one more time, Alt page down. This time, I'm going to add the Control key. So we're going to do Control Home, and notice where that takes us. To A1. And I can see how this would be very helpful if you're trying to go back to your original spreadsheet instead of doing all that clicking. It's saves you time. <laughs> exactly. So Control Home and Home are going to be great friends. Mm -hmm. You're going to be using that a lot. And by the way, that's a Windows feature that you can use in lots of other programs as well. Okay. So keep those in mind. Alexa, we've covered what you see on the screen here. Hopefully, you're a little more familiar with the terminology mm -hmm. and how to move around. And then in the next section, we're going to talk about how to actually select cells. Sounds good. Mm -hmm.